All right, team, so today on my 2006 Mitsubishi Eclipse, we're gonna be replacing the um, manifold catalytic converters. Um, as you saw in my previous video, we went ahead and switched out the O2 sensors, worked for a while, then the code came back up. So now it's time to change the catalytic converter. So I'll leave a link in the description of where to get the one I got no issues with there so should work out pretty well what you'll need you know obviously a ratchet extension a couple sockets breaker bar if needed obviously you want to put everything to torque the new hardware for the catalytic converter and gaskets so let's go ahead and get this all going so for things first we're gonna have to remove the uh, O2 sensors here on top. You don't have to worry about the ones on the bottom because they are not going to be uh, interfered with while we remove this here. So obviously you want to go ahead and follow up and disconnect it. Just like that. Slide it off. go make sure disconnect it here now same thing here just follow the cable on the other side move it up it's right there push the tab and pull out All right, took the second one out. It was a little tight in there, so I had to put you guys down to go ahead and get it off, but now it's all disconnected. Now we can go ahead and get the O2 sensors off. The one tool I did forget to get is you wanted to get a uh, O2 sensor socket. Make sure that gets on there. So let's go ahead and uh, start working on getting these out. So that's in there tight. And remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. You want to make sure when you're taking these off, you're not you're not uh, twisting up these wires or anything. Otherwise, you're going to end up having to uh, replace them. So make sure nothing gets kinked up, gets loose. Take them right out. So it's the same process for the other side. one same process on the other side so i'm gonna just go ahead and do that real quick there's no point in showing you guys that since you're already seen how to do it all right so now we're gonna go to the bottom of the top and here we are so there's three bolts here one here one up here and one right here but for whatever reason, this one is a different size than the rest. 
I mean, this does look like the original uh, catalytic converter, so I'm assuming that's the that's where. But either way, we can still go ahead and get these off. Um, these are these bolts here are the same as on top. They're a 13 millimeter. This bolt right here is actually a 17 for us to get off. So what we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and uh, get a ratchet, see if that'll if we can get that off like that. And then kind of uh, see how well that plays out. So there we go. Now, obviously, if you have a lot of rust down here, you want to go ahead and spray some uh, penetrating fluid to go ahead and get that on there. All right, so here's the first one out. second one now we're gonna go ahead and switch the socket so we can get to the other to that bolt there switching it to the 17 So this right here is too long for the short socket that I have. So definitely you want to get a, uh, a deep well socket. So let me go grab mine real quick and then we can get on there. All right, so there's my deep well. Here's the bolt. So the whole thing came out, so I'm assuming whoever put this in last, well, there is a lot of rust and stuff there, so they're getting stuck on there pretty well. So good thing we have new hardware. So what you do now, is just kind of make sure nothing else is connected, which doesn't appear to be. Everything's locked on tight. Make sure you wiggle it a little so that way you can go ahead and make sure you can get the manifold out and it's not stuck. So that's all good. So now we'll go ahead to the top and then take out the, the ones holding it to the engine. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get one, two, three, four, five, six bolts out. So again, those are 14s. One with the washer.
All right, so that sound was the heat, the heat little heat shield that goes on to the pipes. Which is this right here. You wanna make sure you put that back. And now we can just go ahead and pull this out. Just like that. You can see all this carbon buildup and everything. So we're gonna get some brake clean, clean that out. Make sure that's all good. Get this old gasket off, get the new one on. So it looks like this gasket was just, just a little too small for this. So now the threads are just lined up with the gasket here so it's making it a little hard so there we go just yank and pull and then that'll be good like that so before we put the new one on we want to make sure get the wire brush clean all this off what i'm going to do is put uh something in these holes here so that way nothing gets in there given it's going to go out the exhaust pipe anyway but we don't want nothing clogging up the other two catalytic converters that are on there so uh, let me go grab some uh, shop towels and my wire brush and I'll be back. All right, there's shop towels in there. And like I said, I'm gonna take the wire brush and clean this up. You wanna make sure every time you swap out a gasket, it has a clean mating surface. Otherwise it's not gonna seal properly. I'm also gonna hit this with some brake clean. Obviously, I'm not going to spray it in the holes. I'm going to spray it inside of a, uh, on a shop towel. Alright. It's got a lot cleaner too when, when I hit it with the, uh, with the brake clean. you wipe it all down. Get it nice and clean. Now it's all wiped off, now it's a dry cloth. Alright, now the one other thing I am gonna do, I am gonna clean these threads. Make sure they're nice and good. They don't, if there is any rust on them, they won't rust onto the uh, bolts. Now the mating surface is nice and clean. We can go ahead and put the new gasket on. Here's the new gasket. Same design as the other one. So 
All you do is line up the holes, slide it on. Make sure they're in, which they are. And what I'm gonna do now is remove the shop towels from the bottom part of the exhaust. There is another gasket that goes down there. So once we go ahead and put the new one on, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the, get the gasket on there as well. But more than likely what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and put those uh, thread pins hardware so there's one of these two of these and there should be a third yes it is here it is and there's the third so what we're gonna do is get those into the bottom part of the manifold. So there's the new manifold here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and put it all down here at the bottom. So So as you can see, this little line right here, that's gonna be the top portion of it. You screw that on, make sure not to cross thread. Same with the others. Again, make sure you don't cross thread. And of course, it seemed like this one wants to cross for it. So let's take out one of the other ones and try it on the other one. That's okay. Get this one to that spot. Hmm. All right, now that that's on, take the get into new gasket. Line that up equally, slide it on, and there it is. So now we're gonna go ahead and get, make sure these go into those three holes there. Make keeping an eye on the on this bottom gasket to make sure it doesn't come out. Line that 
up. There we go. It's in. No. Get this in evenly. Sometimes a little persuasion helps. So now we'll go back down to the bottom. I can see that the gasket came out. So thankfully we can go ahead and move the lower part of the exhaust to get it on. But first what I wanna do is uh, with these hand tight, some of these bolts. So that way this doesn't move around. This comes with a washer and a nut. So just putting those two on for now so that way it doesn't go anywhere so let's go to the bottom and get those uh, bolts all snugged up so here we are at the bottom there's the exhaust the man new manifold like i said earlier the gasket came off but it's pretty simple you know what i mean here it is it's a big enough gap so make sure we get that back on there and then we'll line it up Now, this kit didn't come with enough bolts. I don't know what happened that it didn't. So I am gonna have to reuse some of the old ones. So now, just go ahead and push it into place. Just like that. Get one of the old bolts. Start it right here. Again, making sure you don't cross thread. Oh, that one doesn't look like it wants to work, so let's move on to this one. There we go. Then 
it on there nice and snug. Let's see if we can use this other one over here. And then we can. So now remember, we still have this one right here that we need to get get a bolt on. Luckily for me, I do have some extra ones from some other jobs that I've done that didn't need them anymore. So let me go grab one of those and we'll get that on there. And there we go, got that one on there nice and tight. A little snug, I should say. This is why I always keep extra bolts, nuts, and stuff like that, just in case you never know when you might need them. So let's go ahead and snug these up. Now these are the same size as the others. So let's, gonna need a deep well now for these, because they were a little longer than the other ones. So we need a 14 deep well. Smack those up real tight. So you get the idea so i'm gonna go ahead and just make sure they're tight and then we're gonna go up and move the up to the top and tighten the ones up there so like i said, didn't have all the the bolts and stuff so i'm gonna i'm gonna be reusing two of the washers and bolts that came with the kit so obviously taking it off was one way putting it back on you want to work from the inside going out so you don't warp the block. So we're gonna just snug up these bolts. It. and then after that we're gonna go in with the torque wrench make sure we're torquing it to spec
right? So now that's all torqued to spec. And now it's getting the old two sensors back in. Sorry about that team. Looks like I ended up deleting that part of the video. Obviously not purposely, but after you get the O2 sensors on, torque them to spec, you're pretty much done at that point. Just clean up, start the vehicle, make sure there's no exhaust leaks, spray it with some uh, soapy water look for any bubbles if there is go ahead and tighten those areas down and that's basically it guys so thanks again for watching if this video helped please share like subscribe it will definitely show me that these videos are actually helping you guys out so until next time team